And this session is a follow up to our series on business processes and controls. But in this context, now we're going to be discussing around testing controls. So the issue here is management would have designed their business process and also implemented the relevant controls. But when I then come to the auditor, I would say when I've, when I've looked at management system, and I'm here with the control that they've designed. But before I place the line of those controls, I'm going to ask myself, were they working effectively? We then bring us to this session. Test of controls, I subtitle para A2, A27. So what are the learning outcomes from this session? We need to know what are TOCs, what are we going to be trying to achieve? What type of animal is it? And then when should we even think about testing controls? As well as differentiating between risk assessment procedures is with test of control procedures. And then how to formulate test of control procedures, which is normally expected to be able to do within the examination context. Then direct issues around direction of testing. So what are test of controls? What is this animal? So a test of control is an audit procedure. So the main audit procedures are used to gather audit evidence. But specifically a test of control is designed to evaluate operating effectiveness of controls in either preventing or detecting material misstatements. So if I perform a test of control procedure, I need to be able to gather evidence, what evidence, whether the control was working effectively or not. So the key word here is, it's a tool used to gather all the evidence to test the operating effectiveness of an of identified control. So now, when you even think about testing controls in order to practice, so normally when you are looking at controls, based on my risk assessment, so if you if you have gone through the three part lecture series on business processes, when we are evaluating the control environment ETC, it's part of our risk assessment. So let's say I conclude that the entity's business process is internal control weaknesses. I actually made their risk assessment. Why? Because the risk assessment is a key component in range control detection. So here I'm evaluating control risk. But, so it means if after I've done that evaluation and I'm saying the design of this control is okay, then it means I can come to this stage where I need to consider testing controls. And then in fact there are some situations where if you only perform substantive procedures alone, you will never be able to gather sufficient appropriate audit evidence, mainly due to the nature of the transactions you are dealing with, either the high volume transactions. So testing a, a big enough sample is never going to be economical. Or the transactions are automated, which means that testing controls is very, very important. So now what is different between what we have done as part of risk assessment and what we are going to be doing is testing controls. So from a risk assessment perspective, we need to know that the edit business process have controls and that the controls properly designed. We then lead to some questions where they are you may be asked identify any control weaknesses. But when you are now then looking at testing controls, and also okay, management from the system I can see that the controls are there. But for the people that you are getting positive, will the control actually work here? It then brings us to test of controls. So, what are the different types? So, what is the nature of test of controls? So, here we are now looking at the type of tests that the order can perform as part of TOCs. So you can still be able to inspect. Normal inspection works when the performance of the control activity during the transaction processing stage leaves the audit term. So when the order comes through, you are going to be going through that audit cell and inspecting relevant documents that provide evidence of the effectiveness of the control. So examples could be inspecting a reconciliation time or inspecting a document which was signed. 
So that is what this check. Or we can either observe. So observe normally means you are, you are after going to the client and you are going to be seeing the control activity working in real time. Observe. Inquire. So you can also inquire from the part of the client about the function of the control. But they also read the form. They are redoing the control activity. So let's say, for example, your client tells you that access to this system is protected by password. So if you perform what you do, you end a fictitious password. If the system does not permit end or the, or the system does not give you access, then you can conclude that the system is, is working. Now, how should the test of control be formulated? So the most important thing is, why are we doing the TOC? We want to test operating effectiveness of a control. So with that principle in mind, how should we then, or what should a test of control address? So the how. So the how you are simply saying, I'm describing the action to be performed. Am I going to inspect? Am I going to observe? Am I going to inquire? Or am I going to re-perform? How exactly am I going to gather the audit evidence? And then, the what. So the what is saying, when I go to re-perform, when I go to inspect, what exactly am I looking for? So here, the what question is very dependent on your ability to identify the actual control you are testing. So for you to determine when that control is open effectively, do you know what to look for? That is the worst question. So normally for those controls which give the audit cell, you now need to do that document which is related to the audit cell. What am I looking for? So if I see a sign of reconciliation, in my control was the FM sign of reconciliation. What am I going to look for? I'm going to look for this documentation. Then, the one question, why are you even performing this procedure? So the why is, you're not just explaining the control that you're testing. Why are you inspecting the purchase order? Because I want to inspect for the production manager's signature. So no matter the why question is justified by just giving the control you're testing. So say that's why I'm looking at this. This is why I'm observing the performance of this activity. The why question. Now, I, I have a table here that I expect you, that I'm going to use to explain the top procedures you need to be able to use when you're now designing test of control in an examination situation. So most of the required will simply say, describe the set of control procedures that would be performed. But for you, I want to use this to, I want you to use this thought process. Number one, identify the control you are testing. Fundamental. Because you can't test something that you don't know. Once you identify the control you are testing, you can then now say that based on how this control, the identify control, in your mind process, how does that, this control work? Based on the system description the case study. And now, based on your understanding, <coughs> what procedure should I therefore perform? To determine whether or not this control is operating effectively. So this, now these are the examples of test of control that you can see there. Observe. Inspect signature on the GRM. So if you know, I'll give a classic example. <coughs> Let's say in your control, there's no mention of signing a document. When you then design your TOC, don't talk about signing of the document. Because it's not part of the control. We are testing the control as given in the testament. Not to create your own control, then go on to test it. That's no longer valid. You need to test the control that are actually being used by the, by the clients. So there is some testing. This then talks about when you are then selecting items to test, you need to consider the control objectives that are intended to be achieved. So if the control addresses the valid control objective, the direction of testing is in all transactions with the code in the account records valid. So when you start to select items in the account records, 
in just the day to the source document. Or if you want to check for completeness, you are going to start on the source document and, conf and confirm whether these have been recorded in the accounting records. So this may be really very interesting when you are looking at the type of control you are dealing with in the exam. So the next step, go to your module, read the cost notes on the type of controls, but I'm going to find March day, because the type of theory of what the day is in March. It's more of a practical exercise. So attend any online quizzes that may be available. Most important of all, take time to attend practice questions in your module. And remember, here you are practicing the thought process. How do I design or formulate test of control procedures? Do I have a PDA thought process? And you find that your ability on test of control is also dependent on your ability to understand the business process. Then it can take you to being able to test controls. And from that work, again, identify any issues you might be encountering, raise them on your WhatsApp discussion forums, bring them to the actual conduct session in class, discuss them amongst your peers with your lecturer. Because normally when you, the questions are coming from you, it's going to feel that it ends your understanding of, of how this topic works. For any further queries around test of control, please do make sure to get in touch with the audit team on the emails provided there. So I want to thank you for taking time to, to watch this lecture recording.